Hello traders, here we are looking at the gold chart on the weekly time frame. We're going to be taking a look at all the different instruments over here on GPUSD, EURUSD, Aussie dollar, S&P and so many more. And we're going to be looking at what are the trade positions that are setting up for the week. This and more in this trading video. Hi traders, thank you for joining the Master of Markets team in our live trading session video today and supporting us in our mission to spread the truth of trading and help you achieve consistent performance. It is true now upon here from the Master of Markets Illustrious Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are traders in terms of the gold chart on the weekly time frame. What I'm really looking at, I'm going to be looking at two types of traits that are setting up for the week. One is capturing a turning point on a higher time frame like the weekly onto a lower time frame, okay, on the daily time frame. The next thing I'm also going to be looking at is continuation traits uh, that are also setting up as well uh, in terms of the charts. So let's take a look in terms of gold very quickly. Let me just take a look at this. We are very easily in an uptrend because of the um, price movement that is indicated by the smart money framework, which we got here by quantifying the tops and bottoms. For those of you who have not seen our seven part video series, it's all on our profile page. Let me just quickly bring that up uh, on TradingView. So you can take a look at that uh, channel in Master the Markets 2010, and you can find that under streams okay if you go on the streams over here you got our seven steps videos i highly recommend you guys to watch it in terms of the framework that we are looking at if you're enjoying this video go ahead and smash that like icon if you haven't joined our channel yet click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications immediately when we post up quality content like this and especially to get our live trading updates sent directly to your phone. By the smart money framework that we have got here, based on quantifying the tops and bottoms, as you can see over here by the smart money indicator that we have developed, bespoke to master the markets. So based on that, we can easily see that this is an uptrend. This is at the moment a top to bottom move, which is also known as a phase two because it's going against the trend, okay? So that's what we can see over here, traders. And in terms of that, what I'm looking to capture is at some point this for to turn and then the dot to confirm this potential bottom turning into a confirmed bottom. Okay, so that's what I am looking at. So I've got kind of a turning point to capture a phase one on, an, on a trend basis. So what I'm going to do is this is a potential move. Now on the daily, what all I'm looking for is for the daily bottom to confirm by a dot. Okay, if it does confirm, this confirmation bar confirms this bottom, we will be taking a look at a potential trade to take. So that's our first um, thing on gold. And of course, we do have our trade management, what to do in between the trade as the trade is going towards this last part, which is the exit. Where do we exit as well? Because that's where the money is realized. Is it not traders? Yeah. So gold is one um, that we are definitely looking at in terms of turning points. Now, if I were to then work through all the all the rest of the um, instruments on the GPUSD, we got um, weekly phase one at the moment, as you can see over here. Uh, over here, it's an uptrend as well. Take, take another last high. So I take it on this high as well. So that's a phase one bottom to top move. This is a small retracement that is happening over here. Um, but we are looking for it to continue because we believe there's still move left. So this is more a continuation trade. So when I'm taking a look at the daily, um, I would be taking a look at more into trading this on towards the upside so i'll wait for a dot to come over here for the bottom to confirm if you want to take it before the dot comes on the daily then you can go on the lower time frames and wait for a four hour dot 
uh, which at the moment we do have it here right so on the four we did confirm um, loss um, week friday and on the one hour it did um, also confirm that as well okay uh, over here right so it did confirm it almost on the same day so that's a good sign because it's showing a bit of strength so in terms of gpsd i'll just write that down over here so we got continuation move um, on gbp usd in terms of let me just take a look at euro dollar euro dollar on the other hand traders uh, we got also a continuation move over here as well on euro dollar and in terms of the daily time frame this is a phase one right so uptrend phase one in terms of the daily uh, we are taking a look at the dot already formed over here as you can see carried on but we'd like this to confirm first before taking continuation on the weekly so on the daily towards the weekly because the oe is diminishing uh, over here is it not traders also another thing is we do not um, look because you see on the bit on the simple fundamental basis that price can never move in a straight line forever is it not at some point it's got to make its turning point that's what this all this quantification of tops and bottoms is all about traders yeah so i won't really be taking a look at euro dollar um, towards a full continuation but wait for a top to confirm first before having a, a bottom dot okay so Euro dollar not really quite um, yet. I'll just put an indication here. Wait for top to confirm. In terms of, and we will see how it all performs. And you can see what's the power of actually um, quantifying the tops and bottoms. You can see over here Aussie dollar. It's phase one, but then on the other hand, it did um, a lower high, whereas this is a compression. Okay. Right, that's the whole thing over here. So we'll not be taking a look at that anymore, Aussie dollar. Uh, we won't be taking a look at that. Gold, we have looked at it. For those of you who are unsure of any of the terminology or the concepts in this video, watch our free Trader Starter Pack 5-day video course as shown in Empire Cinema. It is educational, entertaining and covers basics and advanced content with cross-transferable principles for trading and investments. It pertains to both beginners and intermediate traders, all dedicated towards helping you achieve consistent performance. Go ahead and register for it on the link below. SMP. So let's take a look at SMP at the moment. SMP at the moment, you can see that it's a weekly uptrend. It's a phase one at the moment, traders, right? And it's had a bit of attempts to turn over here, one, and then it's another two, and then there's a ter third one, third interruption, we call it our third retracement. But it's pushing through higher and higher. But of course, nothing can go in a straight line. This will turn at some point. So therefore, in terms on the daily, yes, uh, we just had a confirmation here. I'll just be a bit more cautious on this towards a continuation because it's quite overstretched in terms of the weekly. If you do want to take it, you can take it maybe at a lower risk management. So I won't be really putting this on continuation moves. I would just say S&P, but... Um, low oe right let's open equity left in terms of brent oil now brent oil is going through a bit of consolidation over here right and let me quickly just change this to um, oe here I just want to take a quick look uh, in terms of the oe in terms of the settings let me just get rid of the um, settings here as well quickly do that Right, and what I'm taking a look over here is uh, let's take a look. So here is very small 94, uh, then it's done 1376, then it's done 264. Now, we, actually, it's a downtrend phase one at the moment, traders. And I can see that it's quite near to this dot over here, isn't it? Let me just 
maximize this and then we'll do a quick summary. So it notice here, a little bit of move left, consolidation happening here. I would say there's more move to the downside, more continuation. I'll definitely be taking a look at this towards the week on Brent oil. And in terms of Brent oil, if I take a look on daily, right, what I'm taking a look at over here is, you see, this is what I mean, right? So at the moment, bottom to top, I wait for a top to confirm and then look to take a position because look at this, quite a bit of compressions, isn't it? So this was the first compression, very small move, second, third, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, right? Take a look at this, very small, isn't it? Seven, and then we got eight uh, compression, and then this is the nine one, okay? Now, let's see. Um, my hunch is that probability-wise is towards the downside as it's aligning with the weekly. So that's what I, I will be looking at in terms of Brent oil, in terms of continuation towards the downside, okay? And in terms of Bitcoin, on the other hand, weekly, just confirmed, I would say definitely more move to the upside here, more continuation, just turn into an uptrend, taking out this high towards the phase one. Um, and what are we taking a look at in terms of the daily time frame? Uh, what we are taking a look at is if you take a look at here, right, we are taking a look at um, in terms of phase one move over here, so this is taking out this high, is going towards a phase one, but it's quite a bit of OE already been done on here. So I'll wait for a bit of retracement pullback before going towards the high. But Bitcoin is still towards the upside, but I'll just say that um, OE is quite low on daily. So just be a bit cautious on taking that straight away. Um, and the last thing is the DAX and the DAX traders. Uh, in terms of the weekly time frame, taking a look, um, again, OE is diminishing. So I would uh, be a bit um, cautious on this. Wait for a top to form uh, before taking this. So DAX, I wouldn't be really looking at. So to summarize, turning point, in terms of turning points, I am taking a look at gold over here on the weekly, waiting for a daily uh, bottom to confirm. And the all the others are continuation moves, okay? All are continuation moves, okay? Also on gold, if on the daily it confirms its bottom, I'll be taking a position. Uh, we'll be taking a position here at most of the markets on the close of the bar. If the dot confirms, the bottom confirms. And in terms of the others, uh, GBP USD is a continuation move towards the um, upside on the daily. So as I said, uh, if it confirms its its bottom, I will take it to the upside. Same thing for Euro dollar. The only issue with um, Euro dollar uh, is, as we observed before, there is a lot of OE left, but the top needs to be confirmed. Okay. S&P as well, uh, low open equity, uh, I said in terms of the weekly, so a bit cautious towards taking the, the continuation. Brent oil, a continuation move as well towards the downside. I'll be taking a look at this. And the Bitcoin is low open equity on the daily. So my really highest probability trades, I would say, to be honest, going forward would be gold, um, GBP, and um brent oil so these are the things i'll be looking at uh for the for this week and we will see how they turn out to be for end of the week and we'll see we'll review them at the end of the week together okay traders i guess that's pretty much that from me on this uh weekly review for positions ahead of the week and as we always say till the next time uh, just remember, just to tell you guys one more thing, is yes, our channel. If you don't understand any of the terminologies or whatsoever, highly recommend you guys to watch 7 Steps to Achieve Consistent Trading Performance. Also, another good one to watch also is our free 5-day video course here at TraderStarterPack.com. Okay? 
All right, that's pretty much that for me on this video. And as we always say, till the next time, stay disciplined, follow your trading plan, and keep trading like a master. If you want to get notified every time we put a video up, especially on our live trading update videos, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications icon. This will get the YouTube elbows to kick in and for you to join us in our mission to spread the truth of trading further so that traders like you can benefit from our videos to trade like a master, achieve consistent performance and change lives.